Uh, good morning, good morning, good morning, water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is spiritually gift that I'm going to tap in for you guys and see what messages um, that spirit has for you guys. Um, I know some of you, I was picking up your energy that y'all thought I forgot about y'all, but I did not. I was going to do you guys right after um, the last upload, but I was guided to wait um, and do um, the Witch's Oracle deck. What is it? Yeah, the Witch's Wisdom Oracle card. Uh, so let's go ahead and tap in. What messages do you have for Cancer Pisces Scorpio? At the bottom of the deck is secrets. I actually seen this as I was shuffling. So you guys are gonna find out some secrets um in regards to the if you're looking into um you wondering about a love interest or something pertaining to work, um, you're hitting it right on the head. That something is not um, being uh, given to you or have truth to something. And um, the other day when I was shuffling it too, you guys need to do some uh, some clearing too. That goes with uh, banishment spells, uh, candle magic. If you guys into that, if you're not, don't do it. Because, <laughs> you know, unless you know somebody you can trust. You guys need to set boundaries too. Be more into your feminine energy, goddess energy, uh, masculine energy for those of you who are masculine or who actually uh, was born masculine, but you know, hey, you vibe more vivacious, shall I say, in your uh, feminine energy because you know we all have feminine and masculine energy. <clears throat> that is so weird how my nose be itching like crazy and running. For the last few months when i do um messages for you guys or get messages for you guys i told you yeah you guys need to also um something took place around the summertime you guys okay um i keep thinking it's interesting. like something had happened during that time i don't know if you guys started doing cleansing uh rituals bath rituals um i feel like you need to continue to do so oh you guys got a lot coming out hold on love Yeah, somebody's uh, security system may be going off at this time doing this reading. I'm here, yeah, I'm picking up some type of alarm system. You may have, um, it's ironic because I was just talking to one of my neighbors about um, a surveillance system um, about mine in particular and she wanted the same. Okay, so some of you may be guided to get you a ring or some type of security system uh what i'm picking up that something may happen during this uh winter or fall it could be a snowy day that somebody could possibly try and break into your uh place of residence so uh you may want to start saving for a surveillance system for your home picking up something about um what do you call uh, a neighbor? Some, a neighbor could be uh, trying to break into you guys' home or a friend of the neighbor or a family member of one of your neighbors. Yeah, see, I had got uh, magic the other day when I was going to do you guys reading, but I felt inclined to wait. I felt this uh, strong intuition to wait, but it was still to use the same deck, the same Oracle deck. You guys need to get your protection up. Um, I do feel that somebody's doing some type of hex or banishment spell. Some type of banishment spell. Banishment. Yeah, I, somebody's trying to banish you guys. Could be where you're living. Trying to make you guys. Uh, they could be pulling false allegations. Um, like talking to your property managers to get you guys uh, removed from the premises. So that a family member or friend can get your unit. Yeah, people do that. That's wicked, right? <laughs> Yeah, you guys need a security system. Whoa. We got intentions. So put a lot of your intentions, um, your will into your work, okay? It'll be more powerful. Your intentions is everything. But know that it's working. Don't just say the words or chant the words. And don't feel that it really is going to work. You got to put that in like it's already taking place. Okay. 
Yeah, Spirit's telling you guys to use your um your moon cycles to help you. Hold on, guys. Use your moon cycles to help you, okay? Well, some I see some of you guys are doing some type of prosperity um rituals as well. Your guardians, your ancestors are going to be um, coming in. Um, a lot of you are going to be initiated into a certain um, to a certain uh, energy uh, with your ancestors. A uh, certain criteria, like you're elevating in regards to being able to manifest certain things, being able to uh, conjure certain spirits. Y'all be careful with that, okay? Just be careful. Um... Just make sure you know what you're doing when you're conjuring up that stuff because you can conjure up the wrong type of entity, okay? Could be more of a dark entity unless that's something y'all into. That's y'all business. I really don't care. You know, I ain't trying to stop y'all from doing nothing. But all I'm just saying is if it's something that you're not used to doing, I will be very mindful of what you're conjuring up. But I do see that you guys need to do uh, protection um, and do it during certain moon cycles. Because I'm telling you, Hegel protection here and banishment here. I'm telling you, you guys need to get some type of security. Um, build you a fiery wall of protection around your home, your vehicles, your children, their homes, their vehicles, their place of employment. Um, because whoever your enemies are, even people that you may not even know of, they could be sending ill will towards your kids as well, your grandkids, you know. Don't trust anybody, loves. I'm, I'm telling y'all, don't trust anybody. Because if you get the same people that's in your face, that's the ones that's um, trying to actually um, initiate your downfall. Okay? But just understand, karma is, you know what? Everybody knows karma do not play. When you wish ill will towards other individuals, that's saying what you did for that person, you're going to do for yourself. So, they'll get that just due. Then I just say it's all about your intentions. All about your tensions and your will. Whoa, dang. Dang it, I meant to snatch that one that's, that was squeezing out. I'm so sorry. Yep, look. Be careful what you're invoking, you guys. Be very careful, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or somebody is actually doing this to you guys. I'm telling y'all. So please get your protection up and use the moon cycles to do so. Somebody's owning their masculinity. Just feel like somebody's working really hard. Yes. Y'all learning how to use herbs to heal? Could be doing candle work. Could be doing some self-healing on yourself, actually. If somebody's writing their name on, on a uh, green or a blue candle to learn to heal yourself, uh, have more self-love for yourself. <laughs> yep, cleansing is all about your manifestation. Thank you, spirit. Aww. Yeah, you guys need to do some cleansing to heal yourself. A lot of you are doing that now. I know a lot of people are um, doing it. They're clearing up a lot of negativity, uh, removing blockages as well, protecting yourselves. See, candle magic, protection. So you guys are doing that. Um, I'm very happy for you. I'm very proud of you. Um, know that you can manifest anything you want. Know that you can invoke anything that you want. Just be mindful of what you're invoking and know what you're invoking, okay? Don't be posting what you guys are um, invoking. And you know, it's weird because somebody's using some chalices too. I received this some time ago. Somebody's using spring water in a chalice. Something about a, a sexual, a sex ritual on thyself. And you also could be trying to pull someone into you guys too. Anything else here for Cancer Pisces Scorpio? Yes. Wow. Whoop. Somebody could be trying to heal themselves um, due to a death in the family. Or someone still trying to heal themselves. Somebody's doing uh, scrying mirrors on you guys. Um, some of you could be... Wow. Somebody's cloaking themselves. 
At least they're trying to. But I feel like your guy's uh, spirit is going to show you who this person is. So they may think they're cloaking themselves. See, I told you. And I, I just put this down. Oh, my God. I told you. Somebody's trying to conceal themselves. They're trying to cloak themselves from you guys. Somebody's trying to wish death upon you guys, too. Okay? This is why spirit is telling you, you guys need to put up... Um, your uh, protection. You need to cleanse yourself. Um, be very mindful what you're consuming and eating too, because when you're when you when you're heavy with all that toxic foods and junk foods, with all that toxicity in it, that stuff is not good for us. I mean, yes, I be having some cheating days when I just want you know like some burritos or whatever the case may be, but I'm trying to, uh, my best to discipline myself, uh, and I don't do it during the week. I usually do it on the weekend. If I snack, but I don't even have the cravings as much as I used to. So please be mindful what you guys consume. All this, um, um, Lord. Whew. Y'all, I'm sorry. I was looking outside, <laughs> out my window here. Um, be mindful of the food that you guys are eating, especially heavy foods at night. Um, when you guys could be channeling also more at night or um, people could be visiting you using port teleporting towards you watch teleporting in your space and um, being a little too nosy um, make sure you're cleansing your space as well as cleansing your beds cleansing your homes your closets please do not forget the closets because I, I I also um, realized that a lot of people will be cleansing their offices their kitchens um, whatever space there is I don't know if everybody go through the corners and go around but um, I do pick up that some people forget to cleanse their closets too. Because as you're going around, like if I go around my office, I'm going to go around to each corner. And as I'm going over to the closet, I go, I open them closet doors and I do the closets too. Because spirits can, ha um, can hide into your closets as well. See, they'll see you doing the corners, but they'll go in your closet because you didn't cleanse the closet. So be very mindful, okay? But yeah, um... I did pick up that someone's passing. I don't know if that was from fire, earth, or air. Um, check those out because you guys do have someone that's going to be passing. Um, you could be going to their homecoming because, you know, a lot of people say homecoming or home going or whatever you want to call it. Everybody's different. I don't know. It is what it is. But some of you also are going to be doing some chanting, writing down um, your chanting spells and then saying them and putting your hands over the uh, candle work or herbs as you're um, grinding them. Okay, so um, be very mindful. Everything's going to work in your favor. Um, whoever this person is, it, they will be shown to you. They think they're being cloaked, but they're not cloaked. So they will be shown to you. Okay, I'm also picking up somebody's um, going to be showing a person's name, like literally the name is going to be in front of you, uh, visual wise. Okay, uh, love and light to you guys. Take care. Bye bye. Oh, wait, I'm so sorry. I got more down here. I was just trying to show you guys those. I apologize. Yeah, somebody's going through a major rebirth. Okay. If somebody's gonna see an angel or angels, you're gonna be touched by an angel and you're gonna feel that touch by an angel. Somebody's about to meet up with someone, somebody's invoking something, and an angel surfaces. Something's been okay. When you invoke something, I feel like at that particular moment, you're gonna go through some type of rebirth. Somebody is about to be given the book of shadows from a grandmother or a family member or a friend. Somebody's passing something down to you guys to teach you how to work your magic, okay? And it's all, I told you, it's all about your intentions too. And you believe it as whatever it is you're invoking and putting your attention is, imagine it happening at that particular time, okay? It's very powerful, okay? But keep in mind, you guys do this, the negative stuff, that, that stuff will come back on you. I don't believe anybody's like, you know, I, I feel like this with the Holy Spirit. Like if you invoking some ill will towards someone, unless you returning it to sender, I just keep hearing that it, that's not what the Holy Spirit wants. But my thing is, if somebody bad enough to, you know, had a boss to send this ill will towards you, you should be okay to send it back to them, return whatever they send it to you towards them. 
But do I think that that's karma? I honestly, I, I honestly don't know. I'm not going to sit here and lie and say that that karma, what you're sending back to them, what they're sending to you is going to come back to you. I don't know. I'm, I've never gotten to the point where I felt, you know what, I'm going to send this to them because I know they send it to me. No, 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 no. I do strongly believe in karma, but I also feel that one should be able to send return to sender. Okay. Um, sometimes you got to think twice about that because I'm not the type that like to harm kids and you don't know what your enemies, frenemies, whatever you want to call them are conjuring up sending towards you, especially when it comes to kids or grandkids. So if you send that, it should be going to that person, not their kids. Do you understand what I'm saying? So just be mindful of you doing a reversal or return to sender, whatever you want to call it. Um, but understand that your intention and your passion and your work is something very powerful for you, okay? So be mindful of that, loves. But make no mistakes. If your enemy does that, they got to understand that there's consequences for what they do, okay? So do what you do. What you feel is best for you. Um, you know, you don't have to take heed to what I'm saying to you. Just do what you think is best for you, okay? All right, water signs, this is all that I have for you guys. Please don't forget to hit, hit your girl up. Um, especially get the 777 for a more in-depth uh, reading for yourself. And do not forget to hit that notification bell for future messages. Um, if you're currently not a subby, please join us. We would love to have you. Um, don't forget to hit that. Um, oh, hold on. Did I? Yeah, I did say this one. I was just double. Yeah, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel, okay? And don't forget, if you feel inclined to share um, the messages on your social media platform, please feel free to do so. Um, it just may be for some your friends or uh, family members. You never know what they're going through. And sometimes you readers, when they're tapping into your energy, they're tapping into somebody close to you that needs that message, okay? Uh, love and light to you guys. Till next time. Later.